Thank you for joining the Alliant HQIC IP Chats. Today we're going to cover some NHSN patient safety component training, as well as how to map your facility within NHSN. Here you can see some links available on NHSN's educational roadmaps page. There is a great link for enrollment and setup training, which shows you how to enroll a new facility. I believe most of you who are listening to this should already have your facility enrolled in NHSN. So please don't enroll your facility um, unless you're sure this has never been done before. You can always reach out to me directly for help. You'll also see the patient safety component roadmap and uh, this covers three sections for learning, the patient safety component basics, the patient safety component module training, and patient safety component data entry and analysis. So the NHSN location mapping, um, you're going to first go by acuity level. So step one is really defining the acuity level for the location in the hospital. And the first question is, is this patient care area have at least 80% of the patients in, that are of the same acuity level? So if the answer is yes, then you're going to select which acuity level, if this is an adult critical care, a pediatric critical care, neonatal critical care, perhaps it's an adult ward, or a long-term acute care, for example. If not, if not 80%, maybe you have a 60-40 split, they're not in the same acuity level, then you're going to look and determine if you can set up a virtual location. So that would mean you're able to differentiate patient acuities and set up and put them into virtual buckets of uh, critical care and an adult ward, for example. If you're not able to split them into a virtual location, then you will map it as a mixed acuity location. The second step is defining the type of service on the location. So we are going to have a uh, general service location. So in a general medical or surgical area, greater than 60% of your patients are either going to be medical or surgical. And if that's the case, then you're going to call it a adult medical ICU or, for example, an adult medical ward. If there is not at least 60% of the patients that fall into a service category, then you are going to call it a combined location. So if there is, for example, a 50-50 mix of medical and surgical patients on the ward, then you would call that a med surge ward. Now, if you have a specific service, such as cardiac, then you have to have at least 80% of the patients fall into that category. So to call it a cardiac intensive care unit, you're going to have 80% of your patients be intensive care. And of those 80% of those patients, 80% are going to be in cardiac service. So an example here is an ICU that has 85% burn patients and 15% trauma patients. This is gonna be called a burn critical care because it meets the 80% rule for critical care acuity level, and it also meets the 80% rule for the specific service of burn. Now, an ICU that has 55% medical and 45% surgical is going to be called a medical surgical critical care unit. You do have the 80% rule for critical care acuity level met. However, you don't have the 60% designation for medical or surgical. So it's a mixed designation. So to verify and edit or add locations in NHSN, you'll log into the NHSN application and select facility from the left-hand side table of contents. And from there, you'll select locations. 
You can export your current list of locations by selecting export location list on your screen at the bottom, or you can select find at the bottom to get a list of locations in NHSN. This is what the exported list looks like, and this comes out in an Excel table. To add locations, you're going to enter your code, which would be your abbreviation that you call that unit. Your label would be the full name of the unit. And then the CDC location description is where you'll select if that's a medical ward, surgical ward, if it's a intensive care unit or ward, for example. You'll then select if the, bed, the status is active or not, not active, and then you'll enter the bed size, how many beds are in that location. To edit an existing location, you'll select find at the bottom, and you'll see this list of locations appear on your screen. And you can select by clicking on the blue your code for that location, and then you can edit the location accordingly. So to edit 1ANX, you would click 1ANX and then make any edits that you need to. Maybe you're deactivating the unit, or maybe you've added beds to that unit and you need to update. Once you make any necessary adjustments, you'll select save at the bottom.